everybody, this is Praxis. It's been raining outside the past couple of days, so I've been working on one of my kind of reserve indoor projects. I always like to have some of those on standby, even if it's not necessarily the most important thing in the world to work on. I like to have stuff that I can work on when I can't work outside. Although this one is super important. What I'm working on is the bellows for the fallout shelter. You know, people tend to focus on really critical things that you need for life. You know, food, water, those are very important. But food, you can go a couple of weeks without food. You can go a couple of days without water. But you can only go a couple of minutes without air. So it's really important to me to have a backup, backup, backup system for getting air into that fallout shelter if other systems go down. At the moment, we've got a fan in there which brings the fresh air in. I've got a backup fan that I could swap out if that one fails. We have the primary electrical system which comes off of the house and sends power over there. If that fails, we've got a backup electrical system that is just inside of the the root cellar, uh, you know, that we could use. Uh, but let's say all that stuff goes down. You know, both fans are broken. All the electrical stuff is all down, which is plausible with like electromagnetic pulses and stuff. I want to have an I want to have an absolute fallback position where I can get fresh air in there because it's super important. Uh, and this is how I'm creating it. I've got a couple of pieces of plywood here. I've got them hinged, and I'm going to be using this this yard waste bag as my bellows. I was trying to think about like like an accordion or something like that. I was thinking, you know, if I made like some kind of like a piston I could pull that would have like an accordion kind of feel to it, like uh, like this. I could fill this up with air and then push it out and then fill it up with air and push it out. And then I was thinking, I don't really need to have it go, you know, that way. I could just have it kind of pivot like, uh, well, it's, this is the first time you kind of crunching it in here. Pivot kind of like this. So it's going to work like this. So air gets drawn in and air gets blown out. Air gets drawn in, air gets blown out. Now this section, let's get, that, get this out of here because it's awkward. This section here is going to have a box around it and inside this box is going to be an air intake and an air exhaust vent. And that's uh, going to be these guys here. These are uh, backdraft blockers for blower vents. There's a gasket on the inside here, and air can go through it this way, but if air tries to go back this way, uh, you know, there's this little gasket that keeps the, uh, these flaps from, uh, from going backwards. It's not absolutely perfect, but it's going to be perfect enough uh, for this. So I'm going to have one of these facing in so that air can be blown into the box, and then when uh, the bellows gets compressed, I'll have another of these that, where the air can be blown out of the box uh, so that you know the pressure will you know kind of keep moving it forward through there so so far it's going uh, together pretty well um, uh, once I get uh, you know this set and I, I want to get this guy on there uh, I think what I'm going to do I've already got some holes drilled on it uh, it's six points around uh, the edge uh, it's 60 degrees off set from each other I've got the double holes and I'm going to be using uh, zip ties to kind of uh, do something like this It'll come through, and I'm going to make a couple of holes around here, so when this thing gets set on like that, this will wrap around this little uh, wire that goes around the uh, periphery there, and we'll uh, clamp it down. And then I'll probably use some silicone glue around to get a good seal, and uh, the seal here isn't quite as critical. Uh, the seal here is going to be more critical because this is the actual uh, you know, air chamber here. But, you know, I'm just going to get the whole thing all glued down, and I, th I think it's going to work out... Uh, I think it's going to work out pretty well. We're going to do testing and make sure. But with each pump of this thing, you get an enormous volume of air. And um, no, I've got high hopes on it. So, but you guys will get to see if this is folly or a brilliant idea over the next couple of days. That's it. Thanks for watching.